Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to understand the demonstration of Parkinson's syndrome or disease detection using machine learning algorithms. Now, as far as uh, the Parkinson's disease is concerned, it's generally common in elderly people and uh, the symptoms can be difficulty in writing or in speaking or even in walking behavior can be changed or we can observe the change in that such uh, behavior. So it's a very common disease in the elderly people. So the idea is to diagnose the disease based on their handwriting or their drawing. That is number one thing. And number two, by using their speech. Because uh, using their uh, voice or using their speech, their speech can be also be affected by this Parkinson's syndrome. So by using these two methodologies, we are going to identify whether there is Parkinson's disease or not. And at the end, by combining the results of the drawing as well as the speech, the final prediction will be uh, given by this particular system. Now, as far as the implementation is concerned, we are using this uh, uh, Python as a backend and the front end side, we are using the HTML and CSS. And uh, coming back to the data set, so we are using the speech data set, uh, which contains the Parkinson's disease as well as some healthy samples of some patients. And also we are using the drawing data set. Now generally uh, to diagnose the Parkinson's disease, the wave drawing or the spiral drawing is uh, expected or it is uh, taken by uh, from the patient so that the disease can be diagnosed. So at the back end, Python programming language, front end HTML CSS as well as the SQLite database at the back end side and the Flask framework of Python to create the web application. So let's run the project. So as far as the project is concerned, it's having the login page as well as the user can create the account. If the user is not having the account, there is option to recover the forgotten password. And uh, here by answering the security question, the user can get back his password. So we are already having account. So I will simply go and log in. So once I log in, I will see this uh, uh, overview of the project. So here I am, uh, I can see the technologies used in the project, the data sets from which I have take on the samples as well as the voice samples and the drawing samples, the algorithms and other stuff, and introduction, conclusion, problem statement, these kind of information related to the project. Second important page is dashboard. So on the dashboard, I can see the accuracy of this model. This orange curve shows the test accuracy and this blue line shows the training accuracy. So this is the data splitting uh, 70, 30 split we have obtained. Now this represents the confusion metrics and also the performance measures, different different performance measures and the loss curve of this particular model. Now next important is test drawing. So here I need to upload an image. So for example, I will pick this one and then I will upload and then I can do the prediction. So once it is uploaded, so here it's a healthy drawing sample. So uh, Still, the suggestion is exercised regularly because uh, to prevent or to reduce the risk of developing the Parkinson's disease. And if you want to test any other image, so let's test uh, something different. So here I'm going to test this one. So and then open. And then let's predict. So this way I will get the prediction. But this time the Parkinson this is detected in the drawing. And that's how this is the suggestion. So what kind of brain and uh, sorry, the medicine is required for that particular purpose. Now, after this, I can go for testing the voice. And here I need to upload the voice sample. So for now, I'm, I'm having one uh, sample voice. So I will upload it. So once I upload, uh, it will be uploaded over here. Then I will click on the detect Parkinson's disease. And then I will get this prediction. So the Parkinson disease detected in the uh, sample. Now, remember the image also confirmed that there is Parkinson's disease and this uh, audio sample has also confirmed the Parkinson's disease. So the final prediction will be like this. So at this date, this is the today's days and this, this person who is having the login. And then this is the Parkinson's disease by the drawing prediction voice prediction also says there is parking uh, parkinson's disease so the final prediction will be there is parkinson's disease now if sometimes uh, this happens ki the drawing prediction is healthy and the voice prediction is parkinson so in that case further diagnosis is required that remark will be given if both the test 
confirms that there is no Parkinson. So in that case, we will say that there is no Parkinson disease occurred. So that way we are going to do the prediction at the end we can log out from the system. So that's the complete implementation of this part in case you need the code of this project or any support in implementation of this particular project. Then you can check the description box under this video. Thank you.